Um, so welcome back. Today is, I think, our 29th session of HIT. Um, today we changed it. We're always trying to be creative. So today we are going to do three circuits. It's going to be different things. The first circuit is going to be a boxing circuit with four exercises. Then the second circuit is going to be our bicep, triceps, and chest, focusing on those muscles. Again, four exercises. And our last circuit is going to be a plyometric, so jumping, and then cardio-based. Um, same again with the different modifications, adaptations. Um, and then last, we're going to have a hit challenge, and I'll go over that in the end. So our first circuit, and I'm going to go over just that one. We'll, we'll warm up. I'll, I'll go over all of them. The first circuit is going to be a jab. So same thing if you're standing, of course, going your, in your standing pose. For me, it's my left foot forward. And then always hands at the chin, moving the jabs. The second one, so seated, same thing. Always find your position. If you're going to have weight, slow it down, really engage. The second one is going to be ducks with a jab. So you're going to go almost in a squat stance, meaning you're going to go about shoulder width apart. You're ducking down, coming up, punching the way you're coming up, back and forth. So it's really working on that squat and then jabs. But, you know, of course, you're going to go much faster, throwing it with more force. For a seated athlete, biggest thing is I just want you to move your head if you want to move your trunk as well. So it could be very minimal, but really just focusing on moving that head and then jabbing across. The third one is going to be a hook. We've never done this in hip. Um, a hook, basically, it's coming over your face. It's almost like a hook back and forth. Instead of a jab where you're extending or an uppercut comes under, the hook goes over. See that? the same thing. Modify it if you want to do it with, you know, bands or you just want to go over based on your ability. But the hook is going to go across your face over. That's going to be the third one. The fourth one. For those standing, it's going to be a sidestep. So same thing. This one, you are going to duck and step, come up, duck, and then. So you're stepping. You're also working on that exchange with the step, ducking. So it's more of a dynamic movement. And then for our seated athletes, we are working on a side reach. So basically, as far as you can go, you're reaching. And this is about speed, working on that form, on your trunk. Those are going to be the four for boxing. I'll go over them again as we go through the exercises. The next one for focusing on the biceps, triceps, and chest for those seated athletes. You can have a couple of variations. You can do dips if you feel if you enjoy them or if you feel comfortable. You never want to feel pain. Dips basically you can either raise off your chair. You can also if you're able to come off your chair, dip down. If not, you're going to do what. Those standing is going to be overhead tricep press. And then if none of those work or you don't enjoy them, you can also do kickbacks. You could do Jeremiah likes doing them extended out. Then you could just flare back or up and down. Um, all those work. Just choose the one that you enjoy and that you really like doing. So those are a couple of variations. And always ask to me or Emily, if you have questions, you just want to really target the tricep muscle. Dips work really well if you're seated. But always you can do the overhead tricep press, kickbacks if you want to extend out. Um, those are a couple of variations. The next one is going to be the curl to, to reverse curl. So we're going to do curls, meaning opening your hands opposite from the body. You're going to curl up and then you're going to turn those wrists and then go down. We're really going to focus on our bicep and then focus right here on the forearm where we really don't work out. So just go at your pace, your weight, seated, same thing. I really want you to focus looking forward, having those arms starting right at the side, curl up, turn, and then come back down. You're going to turn inward and then really, really keep that elbow nice and tight to your body. And then you're really going to feel it right here on, on the forearm. The next one is going to be for our seated athletes, if you do have a band, if not, it's okay. I'll go over some variations. You can use a towel. You can use a shirt. We're going to do a chest extension. So you're just going to hold that band and then squeeze, bringing it back out. So we're really going to focus on our chest. If you don't have a band, you could use a shirt. If not, weights, if they're not too heavy, 
and then you're going to have those weights with thumbs up and then you're really squeezing right at the center at the midline and then coming you can have a slight bend because if you have them straight then we're really working out the shoulders we want to work more on the chest you can even lean back and now you're targeting the chest for the the standing variation it's going to be push-ups so this one is going to be on the ground you can modify it with your knees and then of course i don't know if you really can see me but your hands are going to be right at chest about shoulder width and then of course you're going to do it for the 30 seconds we're going to do and then the last one for this circuit is going to be hammer curls for those seated so hammer curls our hands are at our hips they're going to come straight up and then you're pressing up so we're not going to press where we usually have our hands away from us i want you to focus pressing with your hands by your ears so press here like an eye and then it's a it's a big one movement uh and then for can you do course, very, oh, can you do go ahead if you want to do like combined sitting and standing could you do them both yeah yeah Paul. yeah you could do you could do both so you could do whatever whatever you like and enjoy these could be done either or um so now for those standing, now this one, I want you to focus on having a good form, your shoulder width apart, and then bringing that weight up and then press, same thing. Now our last circuit, the plyometrics or the jumping cardio for those seated, we are gonna do the ground to sky. So based on your flexibility and how comfortable you are, you can either seated touch the ground and then come up you could touch your shins, you can touch your knees, but it's about explosion, your flexibility, and then no weight unless you feel comfortable with it. This is more cardio, getting that heart rate up. And then for those standing is my favorite is the burpees. So you're gonna start standing, you're gonna go down into a push up, go down to the ground, come up, pop up, and then of course, yeah, so <laughs> Emily's doing it. Uh, the next one is jump ropes. So those of you that are fortunate to have those cool seated jump ropes, you can use them. If not, you are going to mimic that same movement seated. And then those standing just work on speed and cadence. And then our third one is the seated X. So hands up. One always stays up. And same thing, it either goes to our ankle or shin or knee where you feel comfortable really focus on keeping one hand up and then back and forth and then for our those that are standing it's the frog jumps so just touch all the way to the ground and then jumping up and our last one i'm sorry it's 12 it's a lot um it's gonna be just like we do for Russian twists, except these are gonna be straight arm, you're gonna be seated. And I call them straight arm rainbows. I know I'm not that creative, <laughs> forgive the name. You are gonna have those arms straight. And then just, there you go, Amanda. So everybody, like we're at a concert, you can have small weights. This is working on the straight arm. Really focus on not turning that spine. You wanna keep that chest straight. And then you're going as far as you can go. Then for those standing, this one, you are going to go to the ground. And then you are going to do a rainbow with your legs. It's the same thing. We're doing the same movement, except it's with our legs. And those are the 12. So I'll go over them as we go the circuits. But it's going to be 30 seconds, 15 seconds off. We're going to do two times one circuit at a time. So if everyone's ready, we can get started. I'll start with our warm-up. Please grab some water. Make sure. So if everyone's ready, we're going to start with those neck extensions. So we're going to go to the right first. Just turn it slowly. Look to the right. Then go ahead and slowly rotate to the left. And keep going. We're going to do about five sets. So focus on turning your neck just to warm it up, get it loose. 
from here, the next one we're gonna go into is that torso twist. So you're gonna put those arms right at the shoulder, nice and comfortable. Go ahead and turn it one way and your neck stays with you. As you feel opening up, you can now go across. So really open up your body, get it nice and loose. The next one we're gonna do, keep going. In about five seconds is gonna be the gunslinger. So go ahead and, and get started. You're gonna always have your hands together like shooting a gun or a little BB gun. Open and then turn the body now. Come back in and squeeze. Then you're gonna go back out, turn. You're gonna do a total of five. Good job, Emily. There you go, Amanda. Once you reach your five, we're gonna go into our next one, which is gonna be, if you're seated, I want you to just drop as far as your trunk can go and then let those arms relax. If you can touch the ground, touch the ground. If not, it's okay. And then those standing, you're gonna do toe touches. So just let your body relax. We wanna stretch our legs as well, our trunk, those big, big muscles. So we got about eight more seconds for a warm up. Okay, from next, if you're standing, you're gonna transition to that DV. So really extend far out from your shoulders and you're just gonna hold that. For our seated athletes, we're gonna do the manual hold. So go ahead and then you just push those legs. You can even just hold them manually, just shift that so you can stretch out all that inner Inner thigh, inner growing, the trunk, open up the hips. As always, take deep breaths. We got about eight seconds. And then all of us are gonna come up. If you're standing, go ahead and come straight up. If you're seated nice and straight, we're gonna do those wrist circles. So go ahead and clap your hands together and pick one way. Good job, everyone. Good job, Julie, Gina. Look at Gina's flexibility in her hands. <laughs> think she has her blender on but yeah you just want to get the those wrists nice and loose we're going to hold a lot of weight we got about two more minutes go ahead and go the opposite way now the next one we're going to do it's going to be those arms focusing on the shoulders so go ahead and just drop the arms but as you do those shoulders, those arm circles, I want you to focus on your shoulders. So don't do it small. You really want to squeeze the scapula as you come back. There you go, Emily. Good job, Paul. So almost like you're doing a shoulder shrug as you come up and then relax it. Go ahead and go forward now. A lot of our shoulders are sore from yesterday's dragon boat. so. Make sure you really relax them. Okay, keep going. The next one we're gonna do is those pull aparts. So if you have a band, you could use it for more resistance. If not, it's okay. The pull apart, you're just gonna pull that band, stretch out your chest. So you really want a good grip. And then you're pulling and then come back in right to the middle. If you don't have one, it's okay. So keep going, get that nice, good job, Julie. There you go, Amanda. So this is just getting our all our body warmed up. Good job, everyone. From here, I want you to take your right arm, if you can, behind your head. If not, you're gonna do that kickback without weight, just flex that. So either over your head, if you feel comfortable in range of motion, so you could just put it behind your head, and if you're able to, you can push it down. If not, good job, keep holding it. From here, go ahead and switch. Next side. Okay, go ahead and grab some water. I'm gonna change our warm up music to our playlist. So first one we're doing is boxing. I'll go over the name the exercises. Remember it's 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest. All right, grab some water. If everyone's ready, we're gonna start off with that jab. 
either standing or seated, starting in five, four, three, two, one, and work. 30 seconds. Make sure to breathe. If you have weight, there you go, Amanda. If you're standing, try to move around. Don't stay stagnant. Move those feet. Halfway there. Biggest thing is, is as you throw out the punches, small breaths out. And rest. We got 15 seconds, and we're going to do that one more round. Starting in eight, five, four, three, two, one, and work. There you go. Good job, everyone. I can't see Nicole, Ricardo, Jeremiah, but good job. Paul, here you go, Gina. Halfway there, 15 seconds. So right here, you're working those biceps, the chest, that shoulder. Three, two, one, and rest. Next one is those ducks with the jab, or you're standing, duck, jab, duck. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, and work. If you're standing, keep a good form, bounce. Good job, Julie. Just find your rhythm. There you go, Amanda. Even if you don't duck, if you're just moving with your trunk. 10 seconds. There you go, Nicole. Three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds, make sure you're getting water and slow it down if you need to. Biggest thing is keep moving, but slow it down if you need to. Five seconds, take deep breaths and work. Twenty seconds, the job, Amanda. Fifteen, halfway there. Don't worry, I'm gonna change my timer. It's gonna have Nicole's voice for the countdown. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Next one is gonna be those hooks starting in 10. So remember, breathe, drink water if you need to. Hooks, cross the face. Ready, set, and work. Yeah, so it's not like a jab where you're going fully extended. It's right here, just in front of your face. Just imagine like a face or you go, oh, a speed ball. 10 seconds. As everything, make sure you're breathing. There you go, Paul. Three, two, and rest. 15, make sure you're getting water, please. Starting in 10. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and work. There you go, Julie. You wanna have those hands right in front of your face so you're always protecting your guard. There you go, Amanda. Good job, Gina. Paul's moving around his room to the music. Ten seconds, keep working. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Last one. So it's gonna be those side reaches for seated athletes. For those that are standing, you're gonna duck, step, step, or punch, punch, boom, boom, and work. Make sure to take that full step. Keep those hands right at your chin. Good job, Emily. There you go, Amanda.
And rest. We got one more, and we're done with the circuit. Deep breath, grab some water. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. It's like you're trying to grab some candy, or for Nicole's case, some great gluten-free snacks. <laughs> 12 seconds. She looks mad at me. <laughs> Eight seconds. Three, two, and relax. We got a minute 45 to rest, grab some water. Good job, everyone. As you guys are drinking water, I'm going to go over that second circuit again. We got a minute and a half. So dead, the second is gonna be for seated athletes. As you're drinking your water, catch your breath. Is either dips, so you can just work on just either getting that bum, the butt off the ground, just practicing on that building, that strength. If you're able to, you could do full dips. If not, kickbacks, raise behind your arms. You can also do overhead tricep if you really enjoy that with the weight. For those standing, we are gonna do overhead tricep press with the dumbbell, kettlebell, canned goods. We got about 52 seconds. The next one is gonna be those curls to reverse. So this segment is the break between both cardios. It's more building on our strength, that muscular. And then same goes for standing. Third one is gonna be a chest extension for our seated athletes. And then we got push of those standing. And then the last one is hammer curls up to the side, keeping those palms always facing you, facing the side. Okay, we got 15 seconds. We're starting, like I said, dips or anything focusing on the triceps. Starting in about 10. Okay, three, two, one and start. If you're doing overhead, keep those elbows nice and tight. There you go, Gina. As much as you can, you'll build up to it halfway there. We got 10. Three, two, one and work. Good job, Julie. So biggest thing is if you're doing the dips, you don't have to hold it. You can build, if it hurts your wrist, go ahead and do a different one. It's all about just building our strength. Starting in three, two, one, and work. So you, there you go. Good job, Amanda. So just working, getting ourselves off our chair that's building. I know we work on it a lot. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and rest. Next one is the curls to reverse curls. Starting about 10. Remember, big chest, roll those shoulders back and work control the weight don't let it control you you really don't want to be swinging there you go another way too is you explode up and then slow down there you go julie what's up gina go amanda go paul three two one and rest. Good job, Emily. We got 10. Make sure you're drinking water. I know it's hard having weight, that transition. Three, two, one, and work. It's also working on our wrist without us knowing. It's rotating that weight and still being stable.
Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Next one is those chest extensions or push-ups. Starting in and work. Remember, you can modify it too. If you need to, you could do one knee. You could do both knees. Halfway there. Three, two, one, and rest. Make sure you're getting water. Good job, everyone. Those biceps should be on fire and work. Second set. Look at Emily go. Remember, big breath. Job, Amanda. Three, two, and rest. Last one, hammer curls to press. If you are tired, your, your arms are feeling heavy, then just drop the weight and work on your movement. Work on that speed. Started, three, two, one, and start. If you're standing, you can use your legs too. Use that little push. There you go, Emily. So it's almost like an Olympic lift. It's like the clean and push. Three, two, and rest. Make sure you're getting water. By now, our arms should be dead. Starting in three, two, one, and work. Remember, keep it as tight as you can on your sides. Whew. My shoulders are dead from yesterday. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Leave me in the dust. Three, two, and rest. We got a minute, 45. Whew. How's everyone feeling? This was all Emily's plan, her new workout, blame her, not me. All bad comments go to Emily, her, her emails intern at Adaptive Event. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But make sure you're drinking water. This last one is just plyometrics cardio, all about speed. The way we've designed it is speed or boxing, where it's, it is a lot of functional movement and then strength and then speed. So we're building our bodies as we've done it for a while from some of y'all joining Nicole's program to Dragon Boat. And it's putting it all together and teaching our body how to work through that, that anaerobic and aerobic phases of our, the way, so power to speed. And then of course, yoga where we're breathing. So everything plays a huge part and water, don't forget water. So we got about 40 seconds. This one, your arms should feel heavy. You don't have to do weight. Ground the skies. Now I want you to focus on form, burpees, which are my favorite. And then we're gonna do jump rope, speed again, the seated X. Everything is about keeping good form, breathing. And the last one will be those straight arm rainbows, like we're at a concert. So we got about 10 more seconds. Get some awa. Okay, starting in three, two, one, and work, burpees.
Good job, everyone. Good job, Ricardo, Jeremiah, Amanda. Five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Whew. Five, three, two, one, and work. Remember, slow it down if you need to. 20. Here you go, Paul. Job, Julie. Gina. Work, Emily, work. Three, two, and rest. Woo. Jump rope. Please let me know. Breathe. If you need more rest, add it in. Starting in five, you're always, at any time, you're ready to jump in and work. Jump ropes. Halfway there. Five, three, two, and rest. Job, everyone. We are about 23 minutes in. Starting in five, three, two, and work. For those seated, you're able to, you can add the knees. You can even add moving the trunk. There you go, Amanda. Anything that'll cause more cardio, more mobility. Working on dynamic movement. Three, two, and rest. All right, next one. It's gonna be that, those, that seated X or the frog jumps. Emily's thinking, why did she volunteer to do this? <laughs> and work. Good job, Nicole. Good job, Amanda, Julie. Three, two, and relax. Make sure you're getting water, deep breath. Three, two, one, and work. I don't think you guys need me no more. You can run this whole show without me. Good job, Jeremiah, Ricardo, Emily, Paul, Gina, Nicole, Julie. Three, two, and rest. Last one, straight arm rainbows or those legs. Starting in five. And work. Twenty seconds. Job, Emily. Fifteen. Woo -hoo. Ten. Five. Three. Two. Rest. Last set. Push yourself. 30 seconds, straight arm or straight leg. 
Three, two, and work. Twenty. Like you're at a concert. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Ten. Five. Three. Two, one, and rest. Deep breath, get some water. We got about a minute, 45. I'm gonna go over our last challenge. So the last one, it's gonna be one minute. It's a new hit challenge. The minute of jumping jacks, those that are standing. See the athletes. Seated jacks. For that minute, I want you to, A, good form, good breathing, but the biggest thing is count your jumping jacks because we're going to do it next week and the week after for a month to see if we improved. I know it's hard. Some of you might get 100 in a minute and I lose count by 15. So don't cheat. Try to keep count. So we're going to start in about 30 seconds. I'm gonna try to be Emily. She might kill me. About 20 more seconds. Got some water. Remember, good form. Try to keep count. Okay, we're starting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and work. Forty five seconds. Halfway there. Twenty seconds. Slow it down if you need to. Or you can stop as well. 10 seconds. Five. And stop. Woo. Good job, everyone. Grab some water. Woo. We'll go around the room. Miss Nicole, how many did you get? You didn't even count. I, I could read your lips. Gina, did, 53. Nice, Julie. How about you, Gina? 75. Woo! You, Paul? Same as Gina. Oh, yeah, Same as Gina, nice. 75. Nice. How about you, Emily? I got 106. Oh, I got 92. Nice. You, Amanda? I'm setting you on. How'd she get, how'd she get what, what did she get? 101, what, one, what? No, she got 71. No, I said Jeremiah, I, I don't know if he's on. How many did Emily get you? Did she say? Yeah, she got 102, 102, right, Emily? I think it was 106. 106, that's, Two that's, men the that's, that that's the record of beat. And 75. All right, we're gonna start to cool down and grab some water. I'll ask Jeremiah and Ricardo later on. Okay, big one since we kind of stopped, grab some waters. We're gonna open up, deep breath, just to get our heart rate down. Next week is gonna be up to 115 of jumping jacks. The purpose is to build Onto that, so keep going. We got two more. Keep going. Next one we're gonna do is you're gonna do the neck. Just tilt it, keep that head straight to the right. If you can, touch your shoulder. 
and hold it. Go ahead and rotate the other way. So next week it's gonna be 115. And remember, you can always slow it down, take breaks. We just wanna work and build. Make sure that we're really calculated. We're working on improvement. Okay, next one we're gonna do, it's gonna be, go ahead and roll the neck. Make sure focusing on breathing as well. As you come down, take a deep breath, blow it out. Okay, go ahead and turn the opposite way, either clockwise or counter. Just relaxing our muscles, keeping good form. Okay, next one, keep going. It's gonna be that shoulder rotation. So both hands go up, come down. If you can't go all the way, it's okay. And then bring them back. So just working on that range of motion. I gotta beat Emily now and do 107 next week or possibly more because she's probably gonna do like 120. Okay, we got one more. Okay, from here we're gonna do, we're gonna do now bringing the arm just over your head with the opposite hand, just pull it. Okay, go ahead and opposite. From here now bring it to behind your head and then bring those those elbows back and say so you feel comfortable. So you should feel squeeze right. That shoulder back area. Bring them in. Touch your elbows if you can, and then bring them out. We're gonna do a total of five. Two more. And relax. Next one we're gonna do is now go ahead and reach as far as you can go, and then bring it in. Everything you do is breathing. Okay, we're gonna go again into that shoulder drop, those touching your toes. Now I want you to just slow bounce. And then our seated athletes, same thing, as far as you can go, just bounce, our bodies warmed up. From there, those standing, you're gonna open the legs, go to the right. For our seated athletes, we're gonna lean to the right. Go ahead and now switch foot. If you're have, touching your toes, go ahead and switch the ankle. Seated athletes rotate. From here, now we're all gonna, so go ahead and rise up if you're standing, arms up, stretch that back, just lean, go ahead and lean to the right. And go ahead and lean to the left. And our last one we're gonna do is the breathing. So you're gonna start from here, hands together, rise up, deep breath, as you come down, there you go. Deep breath. Really blow out with purpose, this is working on your lungs. Two more. Last one. And stop. So you should feel your heart rate should be down. Mine is at 123. So you really want to drop it. Um, if you don't have a smartwatch, you could just, by the way you're breathing. Good job, everyone. That is done for our session. Thank you, everyone.